go do that. I haven't automated doing anything in the Petal Apothecary yet. So this should be uh should be quite interesting. Do we have an extra petal apothecary? There we go. We'll get one going once we get it going. And the rest should be easy from there. And order won't matter, we just need to feed a bunch of items into it. Uh, we're gonna need an open crate. Puzzle itself, a bunch of red string containers, and a bunch of funnels with some corporeal sparks. Probably not going to need Mr. Piston for now, or redstone block, but we will need some some redstone. We got some redstone and some repeaters. And of course, eventually a chest. Let's see, so just for for testing testing stuff out, we're just gonna place it like right here for now. And we're gonna need a bunch of like living living rock slabs and blocks for redstone. Do some what's Just grab a stack from here. Boop. Thank you. Put away those torches. Alright, so we'll start with that guy right there. Our open crate. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> And I don't think that will work because let's see. Let me just get a hopper. Just one little hopper. Or stack. Do we have a hopper? Yeah, there we go. Plenty of hoppers. Just want to make sure that I'm pretty sure I gotta go up by one more on this. Oh no, that works. Cool. Good. Good, 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 good. Uh, so I think we're going to have a hopper on the top or maybe on this side or something. And then a bunch of these red string containers going to it. So each of the the recipes is going to require six items. These, I th think they interfere with each other. So one, two, three, four, five. You can actually do one on top too. So like one. So we're going to have like the seed, two, three, four flowers, and a water bucket. Okay, and then we just have to figure out how to trigger all this with the redstone. Alright, trigger the top, yes. Okay, like that, and then we'll just have a bunch of out of frames with all the items we need. And I chose to go into a hopper instead of directly into the open crate here because the open crate only accepts one item at a time. So if we trigger all this at once and it tries to go into the open crate, it'll just spit all the items out into the air. Pretty awesome like that. Okay. 
Is that really all we need? And then we'll have to have somewhere where we generate water bottle. Water buckets. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> A little bit of burp there. Bleh. Um, Just to make it small, I'm thinking, I think I might just take that guy and put it there and then do it that way instead. Yep, let's do it that way. I know, just just small little things like this I go on and on about. I'm so nitpicky. Alright, so we'll have... One, two, three, four... Seed and water bucket. Again with this, just gonna make it right here. So the water bucket is basically we're gonna have it filled up to begin with. And then it does all of that, and once it finishes, it fills it back up. Which means we need to pick up the empty bucket and put it somewhere. Okay. So, water bucket refill. Oh, the rain. That reminds me, let's get rid of uh, some waypoints. There we go, much better. I think that's all we really need, though, for the basics of it. Like, it seems like extremely too easy. Let's do, uh, Day Bloom. Day Bloom motif. <laughs> if you take a Day Bloom and you throw it into a Manipul Alchemy Catalyst. You can use it for decoration. Okay, mystical yellow petals times two. Light blue and an orange. Mystical yellow petal times two. Merstical. Mystical light blue petal. And mystical... Red petal? Is that right? Ah, orange. Mystical orange petal. Alright, so first let's spark these guys. Boop. Oh my goodness. Give me a hot attack. Lightning. Okay, oh, I forgot the uh, the seed. So basically we're gonna start with that. Two of these. With that. And the order really doesn't matter. Um Seed. Seeds. Yes, we, we have one seeds. We now have one seeds on us. Uh, I don't think we have any water buckets. Just check. Whoop. <gasps> We had a water bucket. <laughs> oh, nice. There we go. And let's go get a... Um, a 
button to give this a shot. Uh, let's see if we have any extra buckets on us. There's a water bucket. I'm just gonna plant this guy right here. Man, with the weather. Alright, so there's a water bucket for it to use. Should have everything else though. Uh, don't want to put it there though, because that's going to keep it too active. So we're going to do like this. Magnets off and push the button. Day bloom. Whoa. Nice. So that's how we're going to start producing. Mass producing. Mass producing. <laughs> uh, say, say stuff as I go by my uh, microphone and uh, see if it gives you like a stereo effect. <laughs> um, so that's how we're going to be mass effect mass producing day blooms and night blooms. Uh, now let's go ahead and test what I was going to test earlier. Day bloom, nightshade. Okay, no little, so like if I place this here, see how you see like a little line going between them? That means they're not cooperating. Those seem good, so we're okay. So let's find a good spot for those. Really, this weather just die already. My goodness. Uh, one, two, three, four. Hmm. I'm gonna have to have like a flower crafting area. Well, I think it's temporary spot. It's gonna be a good temporary spot. Next thing we need to do is automate uh, water bucket making. <sighs> I don't even know where to go to do this. We got a bucket. That's good. We're going to need a couple more. Um, give me, like, I don't know, one stack iron. And get. And we're going to make us a bunch of buckets. A stack to be precise. And then some. Okay. I got an extra red mana petal. Let's just put that up. I don't remember which one it was through here. So, somewhere around there, though. I'm sure that's close. No? Oh, there it is. I should get it. Um, so we'll just make... Right here is a good spot. Perfect. Dispenser to uh, pick up the water. I'm gonna need a interceptor. And I'm thinking we probably so there's these new things. We might give them a shot to a red stringed interceptor button with red string. Guess what, babe? Tacos. I sold four paintings. Really? Yeah. Sweet. Which ones? Uh, cowboy. Uh huh. Um, the green one with the white hand. Okay. And uh, the cello. Oh. Very nice. High five. 
Your sister's an awesome seller. Well, she lowered the prices. Oh, yeah? So they were more attainable. That's cool. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm thrilled. So now I can buy more canvas, more paint, start painting again. Oh, my goodness. Because I haven't painted in forever. Cause I'm or, or you could do more quilting. Oh, and she walks away. I love you. I love you. I love her. She's so cute. So, so fucking cute. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, boop. That's where our dispenser's gonna go. And on top of the dispenser is going to be a Corporea funnel? Yes. And the Corporea funnel is gonna have a sign on it. I like to sign order. Next to me. Need a minute. And redstone signal there is going to activate getting it as well as dispensing it. So. How do we do this? Do we leave it just like one bucket? And I'm gonna have to have somewhere to keep the hmm, the water buckets. I want to keep like a, a dropper or a dispenser, something full of the water buckets. Do we not have any droppers? Dropper, dropper, hopper, hopper. Wow, we don't have any droppers. Huh. Okay, I will take um, seven cobblestone. And make a dropper. So I'm just curious here, what if, let's see, is this going to hook up to the network down here, check our particles, negatory, okay, we need to have something else nearby hooked up to the network. Oh, the spark, you guys, okay. Is that one hooked up now? Oh, I felt the jump. Yep. Okay. So, um, just as like testing purposes, I'm gonna turn the disc going down. Give him some empty buckets, just so we have empty buckets in the system. I know we do. And, um... Uh, really? I don't have any more buttons on me? Any more stone in here? Just a couple stone. I don't want to ask for but stone. No stone. Yeah, because we don't have any. No stone. Left unturned. What about in here? I guess we're going to have to make a uh, wooden button. Alright, so... I'm just curious to see if when I push this, actually we can we can totally just put that up here. If it will fill up the bucket, so it currently has no bucket. Does it grab a bucket and fill it up? No. In fact, there's no bucket in there at all. But there were buckets in here, and they're both connected to the system. That is a funnel, so it should get a bucket and place it in there. What's
What's going on here? Why you no work? Uh, let me just see here. What? Oh my god. Okay, we gotta be quick about this. Where do we put that redstone? It's not what you're supposed to do, but how's this doing? Okay, just 15, that's good. Um, I just realized that my milk creator just ate up all my buckets. Oh yeah, that's wicked. So basically I can leave this guy empty. Then have it like, yeah. Okay, let's let's move that up a little bit then, if that's how it's gonna be. Well, that's that's just perfect though. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Yes. Do I not have room for a bucket cup? <laughs> you guys are killing me. Yeah, all my buckets get soaked up by this as well. Uh, where do we go for the milk buckets here? As you can see, we have a lot of room for buckets of milk. You made a treehouse out of giant... Awesome. Well, that is awesome, Chase. And welcome to the stream, bud. Did you... Did you find the dot that you've been chasing, by the way? I've always been curious about that. Uh, maybe up one more. Yes, I know. I don't have much living rock either. Magnet for a minute. And we got some of the stuff too. Alright, so. And break that, and break that. Just go ahead and fill this in. Oh, I could have used my sponge. Oh, I threw it away. Right. Meh. I was like, goodbye, sponge. Bob Squarepants. Alright, so we're gonna have... That area. Scepter. And play nicely, guys. So the dropper is where we're going to end up putting all the items at. So let's see, it's going to go right there ish. Let's see, it's gonna go basically underneath that. 
Oh, I guess we could have gone down one more on that. So, right here. And I'm going to have a comparator, our favorite little redstone contraption. Now that we know what it actually does. Stick it there. One, two, three, four, five. Excuse me. Okay, and Corporea Funnel right there. I'm going to have it activated right there with this guy right here. Actually. Minecraft was okay. Just okay, guys. Just okay. Um, can never remember. Does redstone go up or does it go down? Down. Down, 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 down. Oh, wait. Hold on. Am I doing this wrong? Let's see. Okay, it does go up. Nice. Get rid of that. We're just going to replace that with a redstone torch for now. Because that'll give us an idea of when it's maxed or not. Two. So one and zero. Okay. So when it's completely full. Go ahead and put this back on it. And Corporea Spark here. Corporea Spark. Oh. No, actually, we don't need it there. It'd be here, right? Yeah. Because that's where the water buckets are going to be at. So I'm going to have probably back a couple blocks then. Mess that one up. Um, um, all right, like that. Suppose that brings us to five. Okay, that's probably a good number. Let's see a chase. The dot. Yes, it would be cool to see a world tour. Okay. Alright, so that's going to connect to here based on the amount of items in here. Okay. But we're also going to. Uh, let's get a timer. Or, i.e., an hourglass. And. Is there anything we can do with like a bunch of these items that we got? Oh, get rid of that torch. And some sand. Probably. Hapa, 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 hapa. Uh, either four or eight seconds is probably going to be good for this timer. So, 
basically we're going to have a timer sitting on top of this that's going to keep ticking and then when it's full it's full and it won't do anymore all right do we have everything we set set up as it should be it looks good there looks good there go for it Did you make water bucket? No. We'll give it some, some buckets in case that's what it needs. Really? Good job, Hopper. The Hopper's pulling it out the second it goes into it before it can dispense the dispenser. Nice. All right, small issue, we'll get it going. So basically when you have signal through here, um, probably want to do something with a repeater, I bet. Like a little delay. Oh, actually, hold on. What if we just send the signal to there as well? Via the dispenser. Boom. Did I just blow your mind, guys? Check this out. Not sure if this will work, but let's test it first, I guess. Dispenser is empty. Hopper has a bucket. Seriously? You ninja of buckets. Go ahead, pick them all back up. Let's make like five more stacks of buckets, I guess. Seriously? Taking my buckets like that? Alright, now we got a stack of buckets in there, okay? I'm just going to push the button. Push the button. Um I'll just throw down a torch. Huh? Yes. Beautiful. Now let's hook this back up. Put this guy down. And we'll put him right here. Give him a sound. Sweet. Alright, too slow though. You got four seconds this time. I can probably switch it to two seconds, just to make it really quick. Go ahead and grab that bucket out. Oh! That was it, not finding a bucket. Imagine that. And there, we're good. So at this point, it, it's to its max, which is seven buckets. I'm okay with seven buckets. I could put a bigger storage down there, like a double chest or something. But uh, that is like, like no way it's, it's that easy. It's never that easy, guys. But it is that easy. That's all it takes to, to refill a bucket. Is that right there? 
I'd even cut this down to be smaller, but whatever. Like, you really just need it to be this size right here. We can get rid of this right there. Get rid of these half slabs. Cool. So that's the buckets that we need for our. Um, take off our magnet again. So like we picked up a cactus. And I think we're done with the. Well, we gotta make the night bloom one as well. Which means we're gonna need more red string containers as well. So. Plan is to hook this up to a timer, kind of like what we got over there. Except probably might use like an hourglass instead. And do another uh, comparator thing where it stops it after it's so full. <sighs> really? did I do? What? You didn't get the blue mana petal either? Alright. That I did, Sphinx. That I did. So here's the light blue, I believe. Those are, wait, that's the one. Yeah, light blue. Light blue mana, so light blue flower. Definitely have light blue flowers. Let's go ahead and grab one so we can finish this craft. Let's go ahead and put up some of the stuff. <sighs> inventory, 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 inventory. Da, 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 da. We'll come back and get what we need in a jiffy. Okay, there we go. Inventory. Get it. Why did you not work? Why did that not trigger the blue in the water bucket? All of these are pointing to the same spot. And it's definitely pointing to the same location. Does not compute. Does not compute. It's everything else just fine. But I mean, you can obviously see that the light blue flowers, we got some. We can even ask for them. Mystical light blue flower. 
one out of 1,726 taken. Well, what's your problem? Why are you not working? These are all funnels. So when we power this, it activates that. Power this, activates that. Power this, activates that. No redstone activating like this stuff. So all of those should be good. And if you can see, they all point to the hopper. They all have item frames. Let me disconnect, reconnect, see if maybe the item frames jumped off at some point and I didn't realize. Seems fine to me. Yeah, hush guests. Oh my god. What in the world? We're gonna check these, make sure they all sync up. And yep. Four thousand, four thousand. Somebody tell me what I'm doing here. Why is this not working? Tell you what, we'll get rid of the open crate and just put a chest there. I don't get it. And this has one, two, three, four, five slots. One, two three, four, five items. Let's try that. We'll try just popping off the uh, network links to them. See if that might make a difference. Nope. Something to do with the redstone, maybe? No, I can't see it being redstone. Maybe it's being requested elsewhere in the network and that's causing it to hiccup and not work. <sighs> don't get it. Why don't you work? These are all red string containers and I've looked at that like three times now. They're all pointing to the same place. I suppose it could. Let's break this guy first. How does that? No chunk borders. Let me try just the item frame. Uh, 
right, we're just gonna pretend that that wasn't broken, and that it's been working all along, and go ahead and boop, refill this guy. See what it's missing? Mystical blue petal. <sighs> Why don't you work? I mean, it's got to be a bug, right? There's no other explanation. I have too many sparks in my network, and that's causing the issue. That's got to be it. Maybe if we delayed the requests, that would make a difference? But that just really, really grinds my gears, guys. You know what else really grinds my gears? Alright, so we'll get a bunch of redstone repeaters and see if adding a delay between them makes any difference at all. This is going to be a lot of redstone. And repeaters. No? What do you mean, no? Don't tell me no. I do what I want. Oop, right, placing that slab there. Alright, so we'll have button. You are coming with me. Have it trigger this guy first, okay? And repeaters to those four. Actually, we'll do it like that. Trigger those two first, and these with uh, one tick, two ticks, three ticks, four. Why? Requesting too many items out of the uh, out of the corporea network at one time makes it go crazy. Is that what's happening here? I think it is. Fair enough. You know, if that's the way they want to do it, we'll play along. Definitely not an elegant solution, but it gets the job done. <sighs> okay. It's really ghetto, but like I said, it gets the job done. So next we'll put just down here. Maybe even put it in, like right here. Yeah, this is going to be the day bloom chest. The parter. Got some redstone. Yep. Let's get some torches. And turn a couple of these into slabs. <sighs> I 
not going to use a storage drawer for this one, Sphinx, because I'm going to control how many I make with it and put it on like a timer. Um, otherwise, I'll create like an infinite amount. Okay, so we're going to take the signal from this. And basically loop it back around. Right? There's our little clock. Shall we give it a shot? Look at it dropping all the items. Okay, enough, 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 enough. That's way too quick. And you're apparently missing a whole lot of blue flowers. And seeds, might I add. <laughs> what? I didn't even know you could do that. Oh my goodness, look at that. Silly, silly runic petal, petal thingy. Um, maybe put this guy there. Get rid of this one here, put it there. And then make the first two one tick, and then two tick, three tick, four. Let's get rid of the uh, repeater part again and just make sure it is working, because it didn't work that time, so that wasn't cool. Are you, are you serious now? It put in one. Oh. Yeah. Fixed. Okay. What do we miss? Lots of stuff. But why? But why indeed? Because I could do like um, that. Empty, empty, okay. Let's see if that does anything different. What do we miss? Like a lot of stuff, what the heck? I guess, uh, I guess Batania wins today. Good game, Batania. Good f game. Anyway, I guess we'll go and wrap things up with that. Feel free to tune in on Tuesday, and I'll be... Screwing around with some more Minecraft, modded Minecraft on the Mod Sauce 2 server. Oh yeah, one thing I wanted to show you before we go. Uh, another little thing that I've been touching up on at spawn. Are we... Look at the stars. 
See him bounce? That means we're not loaded yet. Still loading. Oh, I think we might be caught up. Okay. Yep, over here. Uh, been working on the uh, the nether farm. Made it look really nether-like. Haven't upgraded the uh, the harvester and the, the planter enough yet, but... Uh, I just figured, you know. Make it look a little bit like the nether came into spawn. And then kind of tied into the... Like the black and the red go good together, and then... Maybe set up like a... Uh, at an end area. I have the Ender Lily farm in like an Ender type area. Lily. Like, I don't know. Anyway, just wanted to show that. I'll go ahead and end things now. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Hope you enjoyed your weekend, and I'll catch you guys again on Tuesday.